V-Carve Suite now has an additional function in the Vector Group tool. So here's some vectors that I imported in using my SVG importer. If I want to select these and make a vector group, vector group has always been since version 3 uh, something you could turn a vector carving into a v-carve project. So that stays the same. I can select my v-bit which is standard and it it standards to the a default depth which is going to make this all just center line carve and if I click OK the vector group works exactly as it always has creating me just a V carved project but if I want to make this a pocketed project so I can take this same thing and I can still select alternate and I can tell it that I want the boundary bit, I want the edges to be V-carved and I want the depth to be only an eighth of an inch and I want to pocket the rest of it. inch cutting. So I want this V bit to route and give me a V'd edge and then I want the eighth inch bit to come and spiral pocket all of the inside parts of that. Let's click OK. And now I've got my pocketed V cut project. So all of this will be done with vector cuts rather than rastering as a carving. Now you can see here where the bit won't reach. So the eighth inch bit is too wide to fit into this area. So you're gonna get some artifacts here and there and some corner spaces when using this type of technique. Uh, a lot of that isn't going to be uh, too much of a big deal uh, depending on what your end result wants to be. A lot of times for these type of projects, we're going to be doing like a, a poured epoxy to fill in these spaces and we just wanted that V cut to have, give us that really crisp nice edge to it and then we just want to clear this out rather quickly and if there's a little bit of artifacts it's not going to be a big deal. Sometimes you can go through and remove some of those artifacts as well uh, by hand or by selecting a smaller bit. 